Congratulations on your purchase of the Aptura Heated Gutta Percha Obturation System. First developed by a group of dentists in the late 1970s and available to dental practices since the early 1980s, this newest generation of Obtura promises to improve your productivity and deliver superior quality health care. The first step in achieving optimum proficiency is becoming familiar with the Obtura system's components, maintenance and operation. This orientation DVD covers five key sections, the control panel source, the handpiece, the needles, the obturation material, and maintenance and cleaning. I'm Ken Sirota. I'm an endodontist that practices in Mississauga, Ontario. Graduate of Harvard uh, Forsyth Dental Center in 1981. As the iterations of the Obtura came about, you suddenly had a means of injecting a thermal softened material without flame and without little pieces smoking so that you could basically introduce it into the root canal system and very expeditiously use it to seal the root canal system. And basically you were using a trigger mechanism, which is something the dentists were used to on so many levels, from centric syringes to impression syringes to anesthesia. So it was just a natural continuum. Let's start with the control panel, featuring push-button switches and an LCD display. The panel's four switches are power on, power off, temperature up, temperature down, and memory. The key benefits of your new Obtura's control panel are push-button digital temperature control for more accurate reproducible settings and a memory function that stores up to five user-selectable heat levels. Pressing the power button activates the unit with the LCD digital readout showing the last used set point. The Obtura comes with five different factory preset temperatures, starting with a minimum of 140 degrees centigrade to a maximum of 200 degrees centigrade. A quick press of the memory button displays the temperature associated with the memory preset on the LCD screen. The preset temperature will be indicated for approximately five seconds. The temperature display will now change to the unit's actual temperature. To create your own preset temperature, first choose your desired memory preset, for example, M1 or M2. Then within five seconds, Use the temperature up or down buttons to set the desired temperature. This is Dr. Castellucci. I live in Florence where I have my limited practice and my visiting professor at the University of Florence Dental School. Well, I think the Otura is very easy to learn because the only thing you have to do is to push the trigger and the, the thermosophic aperture comes out almost by itself. You, I mean, there is no learning curve. New with your Obtura is an interchangeable plug-in handpiece. This allows cleaning and maintenance of the handpiece independent of the control unit. It also provides the convenience of an optional spare handpiece which could be used while another is being cleaned. The handpiece's detachable cord connects in the rear of the Obtura and cable tracks underneath the control unit give you the option of exiting the cord from the unit's left front or right front by gently pressing the cord into the conveniently provided tracks. The handpiece stand may be attached to either side of the unit for optimum convenience. The sleek new Obtura handpiece incorporates a molded ergonomic design for greater manual comfort and better tactile sense for ultimate control. My name is Dr. Sam Cratchman, private practice limited to endodontics in Exton, Pennsylvania. I'm also the Assistant Director of Graduate Endodontics at the University of Pennsylvania. The impact that the Optura has had on my practice is that I find I'm much more efficient at filling teeth and that the obturation part has actually become the quickest part of the procedure for me. The Optura unit is also built into the MTC and MTC2 mobile delivery systems. The Obtura applicator needles are made of silver alloy for its efficiency in conducting heat and its ability to be bent to various angles. You have your choice of three needle diameters to suit your needs. The needle is simply attached to the Obtura gun before it's heated using the new multi-tool. The needle is placed into the needle nut and the nut is then tightened with this tool. You'll be able to use this same tool for needle bending and other tasks. 
The blue autoclavable thermal protectors are designed to isolate the patient's tissue from the higher temperature surface of the handpiece and the needle lock nut. The thermal protector was designed with a tab that when properly aligned, snaps into the slot used to load gutta percha on the top side of the handpiece. This secures the thermal protector in place and prevents it from slipping into the field of view. To remove, use the tab on the multi-tool. Simply slide the tab under the hook on the thermal protector, pry upwards to disengage, and slide off. Using the multi-tool, gently bend the needle to an angle conducive to the canal location. This tool has been designed to prevent kinks. There are two types of gutta percha filling material. Regular flow is normally used at a maximum temperature of 200 degrees centigrade, in any case using the 20 or 23 gauge needles. Flow 150 gutta percha is used where better material flow is desired. It may be used with all gauges of needles and is especially suited to the new 25 gauge needle. A temperature of 150 degrees centigrade is recommended, although you may find your own optimum temperature to be slightly lower or higher. For both types, higher temperature settings produce lower viscosity and faster flow rates. Lower temperature settings increase viscosity and slow the flow rate. As far as the back feel is concerned, I think it's much better to use the Optura so that it's much easier to avoid little voids and little air bubbles inside the obturation. They don't compromise the healing, but they're just ugly to see on the x-ray. So with the Optura, on the final x-ray, you can see that the obturation is more compact and more solid inside the root canal. For the other procedure, mainly for the apexification, and the single visit apical barrier in open apices. It's much easier to use the Optura so that you don't have to fit the cone, try the tuck back, and just squeezing the trigger, the obturation becomes very solid in a few seconds. A very simple but important detail for operation is to use only one gutta percha pellet at a time. Loading more than one pellet will clog the gun assembly and cause premature failure of the plunger seal. Remember to empty the gun before a new gutta percha pellet is inserted. Occasionally, the seal assembly on the Aptura's plunger shaft will need to be replaced due to wear. When it does come time to change the plunger seal, heat is applied to the thin section of the plunger shaft close to the seal to remove the screw with your multi-tool. When installing the new seal assembly with the multi-tool, be careful not to over-tighten it. A snug fit is all that's required. The Aptura handpiece should be cleaned daily to prevent buildup of excess gutta percha within the heating chamber. Here are some simple steps for cleaning your new Aptura system. While the unit is still at operating temperature, express all gutta percha and using the multi-tool, remove the needle nut. Place the handpiece in the handpiece base, depress the plunger release and remove the plunger shaft. Now turn the unit off. Using the Aptura cleaning solution and a gauze sponge or tissue, remove any gutta percha from the plunger seal and shaft. Inspect the plunger seal for tearing or cracking, and if damaged, replace it. Please refer to the operator's manual for this operation. Next, dip the cleaning brush in the bottle of Aptura cleaning solution. Insert the brush into the back of the Aptura handpiece through the entire length of the gun. Use a back and forth motion to completely clean the inside of the heating chamber. The blue part at the rear of the handpiece is called the handpiece bushing and can be removed if necessary. Depress the plunger release button. Turn the bushing counterclockwise and pull outward to remove. When reassembling after cleaning, depress the plunger release button, reinsert the bushing and turn clockwise until it locks into place. After cleaning, remove all residual gutta percha from the threaded end of the heating chamber to provide a leak-proof seal when installing your applicator needles. Remember to check that the needle nut is clean and free of residual gutta percha. Threads coated with gutta percha can act as a thermal barrier which may affect the flow of the material during use. If necessary, clean or replace if the needle nut threads are coated with gutta percha. We know you'll enjoy the clinical use of the Aptura unit in your practice. As you become more familiar with your new Aptura, please call or email us at any time with your questions or comments.
Your feedback and satisfaction with our products is very important to us. Call us at 1-800-344-1321 or email us at info at obtura.com. We also invite you to visit our website, obtura.com, for the latest in endodontic products, technical tips, and information on continuing education courses involving the use of our products and the latest endodontic techniques. At Abtura, we have an unsurpassed commitment to dentistry. We invite you to explore our entire lineup of endodontic and other highly rated clinical products, such as the Spartan Piezoelectric Ultrasonic Unit and its accompanying collection of tips for all endo, perio, and restorative procedures. It is our hope that our products and service enhance your endodontic and clinical success.